G'day everyone, how's it all going? Today, we're gonna to be checking out a 24 hour French individual reheatable combat ration, or IRCR. I've never had the chance to try one of these before, so really looking forward to getting into it. This one was sent to me by my mates over at foreignmre.com. Now they have their own page where they sell rations and they even have their own YouTube channel as well. So if you're after any rations or even just a good channel to check out, have a bit of a laugh with, make sure you click on the links below in the description box. I'll have it all there for you. Go check it out. And if you're after any rations yourself, make sure you check out their website. They've got heaps of different rations there and some really good deals. Art and Nina are absolutely fantastic people and they do heaps to actually look after the people in the ration community. So, thanks Art and Nina. The ration that we're checking out today is menu number 14. And this thing is really fresh. It has a production date of May 2017 and a best before of the 20th of October 2020. Because it's NATO approved, it has got both French as well as English on here. And you've also got some nutritional facts here as well. So you've got 3,600 kilocalories, you've got 15,048 kilojoules, 20% fat, 64% carbohydrates, and 16% protein. And it weighs 1.75 kilos. So, let's check this thing out. We'll open it up. First off, we have this plastic on the top here. Sorry about all the shaking of the camera. That plastic is a really nice and thick one too, so it's definitely going to uh, keep it nice and safe and protected. On the front, you've actually got a couple of bits to peel off here. And they've actually designed this so you can open it up and reseal it as needed as well. <laughs> Brilliant. So, let's go through the contents. First, we've got the campaign biscuits, and there's three packets of salt biscuits, three packets of chocolate biscuits, and two packets of cereal flavored biscuits. Packet of muesli, apricot flavored energy bar, a 60% dark chocolate bar, and this thing has had some serious heat. You can see it's totally melted up to this end, and there's nothing here. And also, it seems to have a little bit of a hole in the packaging because it's not holding any of that air. Creamy vegetable soup, some napkins, and nice little package that. Andros branded plum jam. This brand is really good. I've tried the strawberry one, and it was absolutely fantastic. Isotonic sports drink, and this thing is lemon, lime, and mint flavored. <laughs> Interesting combination. Raspberry flavored fruit bar. Coffee flavored commando bar. Fruit nougat bar. Our first main, which is beef and salad, and this one's to be eaten cold. The second main, which is pork cheek and raviolis, and this looks absolutely amazing. A tin of cheese. A tin of tuna fish in pickled sauce. We also have our stove kit, so let's check out what's inside of this thing. So you've got a pack of six chemical tabs that you can use. Got your stove, six water purification tablets, a pack of matches that comes in a little plastic bag, <laughs> the little spork. This is exactly like the type you would get in like a cup of instant noodles or something like that. So I don't think I'm going to bother using that thing. This is really cool. It's a little holder that you can use to actually grab onto these tins to actually when you're heating them. So you can hold it like that and move it around and not necessarily going to burn your fingers too much or at all. And finally, a little packet of toothpicks. That is an absolutely fantastic idea. Look like really good quality too. There was also a little rubbish bag that you get inside that stove box as well. And finally, our accessory pack. So let's have a look at what's inside this thing. First, we've got a Lipton tea, two packets of salt and pepper, a mint green tea, 
two sugars, two coffees, and a cocoa beverage drink. So there's a fair amount that you actually get in these rations. Let's get into breakfast. And to the mob who made this French ration, that's not a spork. That's a spork. <laughs> I'm going to be using the foreign MRE titanium spork here. So this thing is absolutely amazing. Really, really good quality. And it's going to go well for this ration. Cheers again, guys. So I'll make up this muesli first because you're going to have to wait a couple of minutes for that to all reconstitute. And this one here, I wasn't sure what would be in it. I thought it was just plain, but there is an absolute ton of bits of fruit in here, which absolutely looks fantastic. Let's pour this into my bowl. And it actually asks for 100 mils of water. And I really don't think that that's actually enough, but give it a stir through and we'll see how we go. Pop that off to the side and we'll get the coffee made up. Grab the sugar, just a five gram packet of sugar. Pour that straight in. And our coffee, haven't tried this brand before. About two grams of coffee. Yeah, normal looking freeze dried coffee inside. There's no creamer or anything like that in here. So it's going to be black. Let's not do half full, make it a nice strong one. Quick stir. And straight away the sugars are already dissolved. Getting the rest of the stuff here. I'm going to do the apricot energy bar. Well, it looks pretty cool. Let's have a smell. Oh, fantastic apricot smell coming from that. And it looks like it's got some little cereal bits in there as well. It's a bit like a first strike ration from what I can see at the moment. And our raspberry... Jelly bar, or fruit bar. I'm coating a sugar on it. Give that one a smell. <laughs> Very strong smell there of that raspberry. Next we'll do the cereal bars. I thought I'd just go with the cereal bars for breakfast and these are quite broken up actually. There we go. And thought the plum jam would go really nice on that as well. Let's get a little bit out on one of these right now. Pretty runny. Well, brick is all ready. Let's get into it. First, going to try this muesli. And it looks to have reconstituted pretty well, actually. Lots and lots of bits of fruit in there. Nice and thick, just the way I like it. Let's give it a crack. This muesli, absolutely beautiful. Really, really nice and sweet. The consistency that I've got here, absolutely perfect for me, but it just breaks down really well. The fruits inside, it's more like a berry mix in a way. It tasted like it's got some cranberries, strawberries, uh, that sort of thing inside there. And also some nuts as well. I think it's a bit like an almond or something like that that they've put inside. Absolutely fantastic. That is really, really good. Probably the best muesli I've had. Try a little bit of this coffee next. Like I said, having it really strong, not too much water in there. This coffee is really good too. Nice, strong coffee taste and flavor there. Good aroma coming from it as well. I think if you put too much water in there, it would really just kill it and you wouldn't get the full taste. Next. We'll try this apricot cereal bar. Very nice, not too overpowering on the apricot flavor. It's almost like it's got a little bit of a coconutty taste in there as well. The cereal bits that are in here, great crunch as well, so the texture is fantastic. Not too chewy, it's um, a really nice mix between chewy and crunchy. 
and we'll try the raspberry jelly bar. That was pretty good. Very, very crunchy from the sugars on the outside, but once you get inside, it is super, super soft. Really great mix there between the crunch and the softness of it. Very strong raspberry flavor as well. And it reminds you a lot of those jelly lollies that we had as kids. Try some of this cereal biscuit just on its own first. Very light baked color, which it has. Mm, you can really taste the cereal inside there. And let's try it with some plum jam on here. Very, very nice. It had a slight sweetness, the biscuit on its own. But with that jam, just really kicks up the sweetness as well and takes it to a whole new level. It's good also having that plum jam on top just to break up that dryness from the biscuit to give it a little bit of moisture. I'm just gonna actually try a little bit of this jam on some of the muesli and we'll see how that actually tastes and goes. Look, to be honest with you, it really doesn't need the jam on here. It's already so sweet with the bits of berry and things in there that you don't need anything added to it. No sugar, no jam, nothing. Absolutely perfect on its own. Well, this was an absolutely fantastic breakfast. Really, really impressed by this one. Seems quite simple, but I'll tell you what, you had this to get you started, you'd be going really well for the day. Let's move on to lunch. For our lunch drinks, we're just gonna have the green tea, with the mint flavor in it. And this is just Lipton branded, which is a pretty common brand all around the world. And for our cold drink, we're going to have this lemon, lime, and mint flavored drink. Very strong lemon and lime smell coming from that. And let's give that a stir. So that seems to have reconstituted pretty well. And we'll leave the tea bag in there for a while and just get a bit stronger. For lunch, we're going to have the beef salad, the tuna fish in pickled sauce, the coffee flavored commando bar, and some salt biscuits. Now this main is said to just eat it cold. And wow. It's looking really good. <laughs> Sometimes these cans can be a bit hard to open from what I hear, but not too bad that one. Let's have a closer look. Very, very good. Nice big chunks of potato. We've got corn, beans, some capsicum or bell peppers, and also some beef as well. Looks awesome. Let's actually put that out on the tray. Massive chunks of beef. Really good. Smells great too. Next we'll check out this tuna. Pretty broken up that one. I was expecting some big chunks, but it looks like it's more just very small bits of tuna and a nice thick sauce. The commando bar. Feels pretty good inside. And looks really good as well. Once again, maybe some little cereal bits inside there. Not a very strong coffee smell though. Just smells like a very milky, sweet cup of coffee. And finally, we'll get these salted biscuits out. So let's try this main first. Like I said, there's heaps of big chunks of veggies and stuff in here. Lots of corn, potato, what looks like capsicum. Huge, huge chunk of beef there. Geez, you wouldn't expect it with all that oil in there, but that is a very clean, crisp taste. Very fresh. 
Absolutely amazing how they got that flavour in there. The beef here is really well cooked. There's not much seasoning on here, but it certainly doesn't need it at all. Just have a look at that beef there. Really good. Nice and soft. It's not too chewy. Uh, very well done. The potatoes have a great texture, but I reckon one of the heroes of this is actually those bits of capsicum that are in here. Really, really nice and sweet. The flavour that comes out of it, it's really gone through the whole meal. So a great flavour. I'm really in two minds about using the salt and pepper. I just really don't think it actually needs it. I think it's perfect on its own. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And let's try some of this tuna here with one of these salted biscuits. So once again, it's a tuna in a pickled sauce. You can see some onion and stuff like that in there, some different herbs. Oh, I'm not actually a big fan of this one. It's got a very strong tuna flavor to it. The pickled sauce that it's in also doesn't really do too much to improve it. So, um, not, not a huge fan. It was pretty good with the texture wise though so this with that biscuit was pretty good but flavor wise not a huge fan i will try some on its own though yeah very strong in your face uh flavor of the fish there but i think i may as well use some of the salt and pepper just to try and season it up a little bit and see if that does help at all So a bit of both salt and pepper on there, and let's try it again with the biscuits. And we'll try that. The salt and pepper did improve it a fair bit actually, it made it a little bit sweeter. Not so much of a full on fishy taste, but still uh, not my favourite, but at least it's worth a go. I'm sure there'd be plenty of people out there that would really enjoy that though. And I just cleanse the old palate with some of this mint tea. The tea is really refreshing. Uh, very nice. It almost reminds me, the smell of it and the taste of it almost reminds me of an arrow mint, mint flavoured gum. Now try this coffee commando bar. Oh, I don't know about that one. The coffee flavour wasn't very strong in there, and it did have a really chalky sort of aftertaste and texture with it. A little bit of a crunch from those little bits of cereal that were inside. However, that chalkiness to it doesn't make it very pleasant at all. And finally, let's try this lemon, lime and mint drink. Just like quite a few of the other things in this meal, it's a very light flavour to this drink as well. It said to do it with 500 mils of water, which is what I did, and just very, very light on the flavour. You do get a strong taste of the isotonic powders, though, which are inside of it. I couldn't pick up really much of the mint in there, but I could with the lemon and the lime. For lunch, wasn't too bad. Not a huge fan of this tuna. Commando bar was so-so, but this main was absolutely fantastic. Really, really happy with that. Absolutely fantastic flavour. So, let's get into dinner. So I'll just get this pork cheek heated up and we'll get the rest of the stuff ready. So we'll do up this cocoa drink and the soup first. Pretty good. A nice strong smell of cocoa in there. Looks like a dark chocolate, very strong smell. And we'll get into the vegetable soup too. Just smells like a vegetable stock, just a normal stock powder. And we'll chuck in our hot water. That should do them. And give them a quick stir. <laughs> Very thick in here. I'm going to probably need a fair bit of stirring just to break all those big chunks up. I actually had to end up putting a little bit more water in here because it's super, super thick. 
but looks pretty good now. Get the cheese opened. That smell reminds me a lot of the can of cheese in the CR1M. And nougat bar. Now there is a little bit of rice paper on the side, which is completely fine. You can eat that. There's nothing wrong with it. Our 60% chocolate. Yeah, there has been a lot of heat. <laughs> Get to this. So, not the best looking bit of chocolate, but should still taste fine. Knew it had some heat to it because it was so melted. You can even see there where it was sitting and gravity's just sort of pulled it down into the bag there. And time for a bit of Kiwi Dude magic. I've also got some chocolate biscuits here, which I'll pop in with this chocolate bar. All of the biscuits are pretty much broken up in these. Got some cereal biscuits as well. Plonk over here. And finally, some salt biscuits as well. Now this looks amazing. Check out that. These little raviolis here. I'll try one of those first. Oh, really nice garlic cream sauce that this is all in. And let's try one of these bits of pork cheek. That looks spectacular. Oh, that pork is just so tender. Really, really good. Massive, massive chunk as well. There's like heaps of meat in these, which is something I'm a big fan of. Really love having a lot of meat in the mains. So the French hasn't disappointed with that respect. Very good pork flavor that comes out of this uh, pork cheek as well. But... I think it's very overpowered by the garlic in this sauce. And I may as well try this soup while it's still nice and hot. Great colour to it. Nice thickness. Ooh, that is still really hot. Very nice flavour though. It has a very strong taste of the potato and the leek as well. Uh, not many other flavours in there that I can really pick up on. But potato and leek are really big players in the flavour of that soup. I might try some of this cheese just on its own first. Just give that a bit of a go. Nice, light, creamy color to it. It's interesting, it's a very light flavor at the start, but then it just gets stronger the longer it's in your mouth. So I might actually try some with the salted biscuits. Let's see how that works. Great combination there of the salted biscuits and the cheese. And I might try just this chocolate biscuits on their own. Ooh, very nice sweetness. They uh, actually taste a lot like those breakfast biscuits that you can get in the shops. And let's try a bit of this 60% chocolate. Very strong chocolate cocoa flavor. Uh, even though it's winter here, my hands aren't really warm at all. Yet just holding it for a few seconds, the chocolate is melting off of it. So it seems to be a lot more sort of delicate than what the normal stuff you'd buy in the shops would be like. So probably a good reason why it melted so badly in the box with its normal heat. And we'll try this cocoa drink. Oh, that is very nice. Right up there with the hot chocolate in the CR1M. Really good. And finally... We'll try the fruit nougat bar. That was really, really nice. Nice and sweet, great texture to it as well. Absolutely perfect with the texture. You didn't really get much of a crunch or anything like that from the rice paper on the side. So that was fine having that on there. And for the fruit, I could taste apricots, raisins, and cranberries. Well, dinner was awesome. This main here with the pork cheek and the raviolis, absolutely fantastic. Love lots of garlic, and this one had heaps of it. The cheese, 
pretty nice. Like I said, it was a very light flavor at the start, but then it got stronger as you ate more and more of it. The soup, not too bad. It doesn't mix the best, but maybe I actually made a mistake by pouring the powder in before the water. Hot chocolate, absolutely fantastic, spot on. The nougat bar, as well as the chocolate, both absolutely fantastic, nice flavors. And as well as these chocolate biscuits here, nice sweetness and probably go really well just uh, having as a snack or with your hot chocolate there. And for an MRE, thank you so much once again. This thing was absolutely fantastic. It was awesome to try this 24 hour French ration. And don't forget, if you're after some MREs, make sure you go check out their website once again. I'll leave the details in the description box below. Go grab some MREs if you want. They'll look after you really well. Don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, hit subscribe if you haven't already, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.